How's that for a location for a pigeon loft? We come to Staves now to visit Bill Porritt, who's won the Up North Combine five times. Fantastic performance. Good afternoon, Bill. Good afternoon, Keith. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, you. How long have you been in the sport? Oh, good God. I can't remember. I think I won my first race when I was 13. So we're talking 14 odd year, aren't we? Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about one or two of your best performances? I know there's been a few of them. Well, it's hard to say, really, but the ultimate thing is topping up North Combine, which I've done four times on a Saturday and once on a Wednesday, and then second up North Combine on a Saturday, twice third up North Combine, fourth up North Combine, and, and a load of other positions. Unbelievable, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Let's say, because you, you lost on the side of a cliff here. Exactly, yeah. And they say the elements all against you. It's a fantastic. I think everything you won, you deserve. What? What pleases me, I've ridden race for North North Combine winners, which is, it makes it better still, doesn't it? Yeah. This is my good blue Pidecock show guy. He's a bush art from the Crown on Rotten Key lands. And in my estimation, he's one of the finest pigeons there's ever been or ever will be. And in two races from 310 mile, both in northwest winds, he was first club, first fed, first section, and he was second and 11th up North Combine, which, in my, again, to marvellous performances. He's won loads of other positions, but th those two were outstanding. What system do you race your birds on, Bill? I race natural, but I feed more or less on a widowwood type of system. You know, I feed late on the morning and then build them up. Y you feed pigeons are what you prepare them to do. Y you know, it's like it's no good pairing pigeons up early and expecting them to hold the condition right, right throughout the season. So it, it's a matter of experience and knowing your pigeon. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, when do you pair your birds up then, Bill? Oh, back end of February. Yeah, what what sort of distance you like to race? I like 200 plus up to about 500. I think that that's true races. But I also like northwest winds as well, where they have to fly. Yeah, you're looking you, a bit stiff. You can appreciate with us being on the east coast, unless we get to northwest, we don't have any chance at all. No. Do you sort of beef the corn up a bit as the races get longer? Yeah, and a few additives as well, which I study health books and all, all things like that. And I, I think there's a lot to be said for it. This is another up north combine winner. This is Olympic gold. This is a William Gates pigeon. There's a fanta uh, fantastic background to these pigeons. The stock pigeons before I bought them were breeding fed winners up to 11,000 pigeons. How about that family of pigeons? First year I won 11th combine and then I paired two yearlings up the following year and they bred first up north combine and that's what I was looking for. These are a few year old birds in Bill. How many pairs do you keep? Well, there's roughly 27 pair in here, but I have one or two stock pigeons elsewhere. And I think one of the answers on um, natural pigeon is being content. It's, you know, if they aren't content, you can't expect the thing to race on, can you? No. So, so I notice you don't clean your bowls out very often, no. so they're very, very natural, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But there again, I spray them and I put drops in, which, again, keeps... I mean, you, you wouldn't like your house upset every five minutes, would you? No, I agree. As I say, <laughs> whatever you're doing, but it must be right, mate, because you're winning all the races. Exactly. This is champion Diddy Girl at Janssen End of Albert Talenton's Lines. She was first up North Combine uh, from Folks and Old Bird National, 27,000 birds. The year before, as a young bird, she was 35th up North Combine. I think 22,000 birds, and then at stock, I put it to stock after a year in performance, just a fan she's bred 4th, 6th, 9th, 13th, up north combine, and she's also dam and grand dam of a boatload of other winners. You know, Absolutely brilliant pigeon building. Somebody you? said that day, where was the widowed cocks that day when she won? Yeah, wonderful pigeon mate, wonderful. It's nice to see a natural pigeon have, have a widowed cocks now and again, isn't it? It's, it's a matter of condition again, isn't it? Yeah. There, there is no super method, it, it's a pigeon and the condition that it's in, isn't it? This is the young birds in, Bill. Yeah. How many do you breed each season? Well, I've injected 35 to race this year because you've seen how well I have to carry them. I don't want no more than getting two baskets. No. How far do you race them? I, I, well, the young bird national is my main aim. I haven't bothered so much early on. But before, I used to take a week's holiday 
the week for the Young Bird National and he has to train them twice a day and build them up in, in that week. Yeah. You, you know, I, I honestly think that you can sicken pigeons. I mean, it's, it, they're just no different to you. If you're flogged at work every day, and it, day in and day out, you get sick. You, you've got to wait for what you want and then go for it. This is Blue Ears, another bush art, very much inbred to Shergar, which are a really good family. This end, she was uh, first up north combine. I think, if memory says right, 22,000 22, plus. And again, she's dam, grand dam of pigeons right through the bush. Where did she win the combine from, Bill? Uh, Foxton. Beautiful pigeon. Mm -hmm. This is the view from Bill's Racing Loft. Unbelievable. How people race pigeons here is incredible. What family of pigeons do you race then, Bill? The Jansons, the Bushards, and the Gates. Unfortunately, I've topped you up North Combine with, with each family. Saying that, I, I'm only interested in, in the best th that anybody has. You know, I, I don't believe in second best from, from nobody. I was always told that you, you don't breed rats from mice as you get stuck. So that's, that's the theory that I work on. And even if I've got to wait a year or two years for a pigeon that I want, I'm, I'm prepared to do it because to me, that's the only way, to, way, a sound way to get success. What do you look for when you're getting stock birds in, Bill? Well, I, I go for a certain type which I found suits me on, on the days when I usually score. Um, I'm very keen on studying ice and anything where I think will help success, I'm interested in. Obviously, good feather, but one of the most important things, before I ever buy pigeons, I study the person's performances for two or three years. You know, I, I don't believe in one-off. And then, if, if I think that they're good enough, th then I'm interested. Yeah, I like your eyes on your pigeons are fantastic. Yeah, a, a lot of people that, that come here s say that. But again, I study pigeon books 52 weeks a year. You know, I, there's, there's far too many pigeon men. The summer time, they spend far too much men time in pub and pigeons suffer for their ignorance. Yeah. That, that's my honest opinion. There's more good pigeons than there's good men. This cock was first up North Combine on the, the Wednesday National uh, on a north wind. This time, I, I don't class it as a true combine wind because on a Wednesday, all the fanciers don't compete. But again, the pigeon could only win against what it was competed against. It must be very difficult racing your pigeons on the side of a cliff, Bill. Yeah, it's not only that problem, it's because in the back it's both tidal and in winter it, it can be in flood or it can be frozen. Yeah. Imagine carrying corn over them stepping stones when yeah. they come with the Yeah, I must add that you have to come across the river down the bottom to come up the top, the top of the cliff. Exactly, corn, baskets, ev everything's to carry. You must be a fit man, Bill. I was. <laughs> 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 no, th this is it, but you only get out of pigeon racing what you put in, isn't it? Yeah. You, know, you don't win through making excuses, do you? No. No, so, and I think you could make a few, mate, living here. Exactly. <laughs> it's a lovely spot, but it's not an ideal spot for pigeons, is it? It isn't, it's a really late mate, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bill, it's been a great pleasure, and I must say, it's a great, great pleasure to see you today and your pigeons. Thank you, thanks very much. Fantastic loft of Bill Porritt. Fantastic fancier.